Something like that, maybe. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. What is going on, guys? The first video of 2024. Hopefully the year that I can actually stay consistent with YouTube. We'll see. I've said that a lot of times in the past. So <laughs> the first video being a series that I wanted to do, um, not only because I think it's going to be fun and it's um, just a piece of content that I can continuously put out, but I think it's going to be a series that can challenge me as well as a creator, as a photographer. The title being somewhere along the lines of like uh, one frame or single frame or single capture somewhere in there um, By the time this goes live the title will be on there and I'll, I will have made a decision But um, I'm not gonna call it like a challenge or anything because there's so many like Challenges nowadays and it's like it's not even really a challenge. They're just kind of like I, I feel like that word gets thrown around a lot So uh, we're not calling this a challenge um, Even though it is going to be challenging the main premise of this video series is going to be um, I set out, no matter where I am, you know, maybe I'm just local here uh, in Lawrence, Kansas, or if I'm traveling somewhere uh, and I decide to shoot one of these videos. But the whole point of the video is that I get one photo, one frame, a single frame for that day that I get to take, and that's it. I don't get a reshoot if I mess up. I don't get to take another photo. So, like, if I take a photo and I see another frame that I think is cool, too bad, I already used my one my one photo. So, it's gonna be really challenging for me to figure out, you know, where I wanna spend this single frame. Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a reason for me to get out and kind of explore too, which is nice, but, um, you know, maybe I get to my first location and I don't see a single, you know, composition that I like enough that I wanna spend my frame on. Um, maybe I'll go throughout some other locations and then I, I end up deciding, you know, that composition back there was actually really cool, we'll go back there. Or maybe I get to my first destination uh, and I find the composition that I want to use my frame on. Uh, so, we'll, I don't know, we'll see. I'm excited because there's a lot of different ways that this series can go. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's hopefully a direction that's going to not only grow me as a photographer, but be entertaining for you guys to watch. Today is January 5th, 2024, and it's actually snowing outside. So there's a couple locations I have in mind that I'm going to hit, and we'll see if I can find a composition that I like. Um, I think eventually, I don't have a GoPro right now, I think that's eventually what I'm going to adapt to, so we'll see how I can fil how I film this today. Um, I lost my GoPro in a river uh, last year and I haven't bought one since, so I, I really need to get a new one. That's probably how I'll eventually end up filming these though, is just with a GoPro because I've got the little like hat clip that you can throw on, so. Um, but yeah, so what we'll start with today right now, <clears throat> I apologize for the audio too, I'm not actually using my like studio mic, I'm just using the shotgun mic on my camera, so hopefully the audio is not terrible. But um, what we're gonna do each episode is I'm going to show you guys that I have zero frames on this camera, and we're always going. I'm always going to be taking the photo with my A7 III. Um, oh, another thing, another like challenge to this is I'm going to pick my lens before going out. So once I throw on the specific lens that I want to shoot with on my A7 III here, that's it. That's the that's the focal range or whatever that I get to work with. So that will also kind of come into play when deciding what composition I want to shoot. Here we go. I've got one of these 128 sand discs that I'm going to throw in here. Uh, we're going to access it and see if I have any... I do have media on here, none that I haven't already backed up. Um, I, so I'm going to format this, but just as a reminder as I do this, make sure you have backups of your backup before you format any sort of memory card because I have, I have lost media before. <laughs> I'm not doing that, so learn from my mistakes and just back up. But here we go. Formatting, I don't know if you can see that. There we go. It's done formatting, so now if I go on here, it says no images, if that's focusing, I can't tell. Uh, no images, and yeah, that's what we get to work with. So, I if I take, if I accidentally like click the shutter and that's the photo, um, then that's the photo, unfortunately. So I'm gonna be really brutal and unrelenting with myself um, and unforgiving. Each photo that I take in this series, I am actually going to print 
and shipped to myself and I'm going to number them. Maybe write a brief description on the back um, and then I'm also going to print them in like a metallic finish and also on some matte board. So they're gonna be like little trading cards for me, if you will. They're probably gonna be like three and a half by five, so bigger than any trading card, but they're still gonna be pretty, pretty small. Uh, but something just, that I can just collect and kind of have. And hopefully my, my goal is to maybe do one of these a week um, on top of some other content. So hopefully by the time the, the year's end, I have what, is it 52 weeks, 53 weeks? I have somewhere around those many photos that I can look back on. I've been wanting to do this series for a while, so I'm excited to start today. Hopefully it turns out well, uh, and I'm gonna try to be pretty uncensored with the process. So, you know, if I have some struggles or if I have some frustrations along the way, hopefully I get that and I get to show you guys because I want this whole process to not only capture, you know, and be entertaining, but I want it to be extremely real in showing the process of what something might this, like this might look like because this is going to challenge me as a photographer so we might as well showcase those challenges along the way and how I overcome them. So uh, without further ado, let's get going. And there you go, it's about 34 degrees here in Lawrence, Kansas and it's supposed to snow till all the way through about 3 p.m. and it's about 2 right now so there you go, check it out. Very snowy, very wintry outside place is kind of a mess right now because we have we got a new mattress and um we don't really have a place to store the old ones so it's just kind of chilling here in the den right now uh, as well as some like boxes and bags and other things this is a bunch of light equipment that's not mine but i get to play around with so that's fun um and then here's the desk yeah a little mini office tour i guess <laughs> but there's my regular studio mic that i use and uh, yeah, this is where it all happens. So got the, the Lego castle in the background. Even more boxes. This is the, these are the boxes that all the lights came in. So I need to toss these out because they're just taking up more space. Here's a better view of what the snow's doing out the back window. Look at that, it's gorgeous. And as always, here's the OG right here. My cat Oreo. Beautiful. Okay, so the camera that we are going to be using is the a7 III. Um, it's got a 7200 on it right now, but that's not the lens I'm going to use. The lens I'm going to use is going to be this guy, the Sigma 14 to 24 2.8 wide angle. That's I don't know. I feel like starting off with a wide angle is the way to go. Um, and this this lens also does a really good job at not super distorting anything. So I use this for a lot of real estate. But I think this is going to be a good way to start. So this is going to be the lens that we have on the A7 III body and that's what we're gonna be rocking with. Bang, there we go. Okay, so this is the kit that is going to be taking the single frame today. Hopefully we find a composition that does the trick for us. And I don't know, should I do one, so just, cause the drone is obviously its own camera. Should I do some episodes where I take the drone out and use my single frame with the drone? I don't know, I feel like that, that could be fun. I love taking some photos with the drone, so I mean, I feel like I, feel like I should do that a few times. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see where the series takes us. Also, I feel like I should note, um, I can choose to use some filters if I need to. That's not gonna be like a thing I have to decide because that just depends on like the conditions outside. So um, that's kind of a variable call whether or not I'm gonna be using filters. So I'm going to bring them with me just in case. All right, we are all set. So I gotta take, I'm gonna take these to the trash since I'm going out. I got the bag packed right there. Um, those are gonna stay right there. But I got, uh, I think I got what I need. I don't have any gloves. Um, I'm just gonna go gloveless. I can actually go gloveless fairly well, but I also like going gloveless just because um, it's also not snowing as hard as it was. Um, but I just can't operate a camera with gloves really. Uh, unless you guys know of like some really thin or maybe like some gloves that you can like take the fingers off of in a moment's notice. Um, something good for photography or using a camera in colder weather, I would love some recommendations because I actually haven't found anything that looks like it's decent. So um, yeah, if you have any recommendations for that, let me know because right now I'm just going gloveless in the cold weather, uh, which is fine, but I'll take any, any sort of recommendations. For now, let's get these boxes loaded in the car uh, as well as my bag and uh, we'll, be, we'll be on our way.
idea if uh, that camera is secure or not, but we're gonna hope so. All right, I gotta stop by the trash cans and let the trash out real quick. Take the trash out. All right, we are locked and loaded. We're ready to go to our first location. First location, don't know the name of the park. Um, just know where it's located. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna go there and see what we got. It's a uh, it's really wet snow, so it's kind of sticking, um, but it's also just kind of like, I don't think it's gonna stick around much longer than today. So I'm glad that I'm getting out today and uh, hopefully getting a shot with, with some snow on the ground and in the trees. We'll figure out, I don't really know what I'm looking for composition wise. All I know is I'm looking for something that really brings out the winter vibe. So just it would probably be something with like a tree. There is a lake or a little pond in this park. So it's not going to be frozen. So I think it'll be cool to get a shot of the, the pond with some snow around it, but it's still, uh, it's still water, you know, it's not frozen. So that is the plan. At least that's what's in my mind. Like I said, I only have one shot. So we'll see when I get there if I actually end up wanting to use it on this scenario or not. And uh, if not, we move on to location number two, which guess what? I don't even have a location number two in my head right now. <laughs> so we're going to just kind of assume that location one works out. But that's, you know, that's what's going to be fun about this challenge. I have some general ideas in my head for a second location, but um, we'll see if we need to get there. All right, we have just pulled up to the location. Um, whatever park this is, I also missed the name of it on the way in here. But uh, we, so I pulled up in that pond that I was talking about that I said wasn't going to be frozen. There is some ice. Um, I should have figured that there would be a little bit, but there actually is some ice. And not gonna lie, the little bit of ice kind of throws the picture off. So <laughs> we're gonna see. That's the whole point of this series. So we'll we'll see what I can what I can find and uh, what that composition looks like. And if there's nothing here, we hit up a, di a different location. So, um, anyways, let's get it. Here we are in the uh, in the park there's actually some really cool gazebo stuff over there this is actually where i this is the same park that i shot the uh the iphone 15 pro video in um i love this park so much that this was the first location that came to mind for this video so um anyways i'm gonna grab my bag here um i don't really know how like i said i'm going to do this in the future i'm probably going to get a gopro and do it that way because that's going to be the easiest but we'll see we'll see how i can pull this off i hope i just realized I just realized I might have forgotten my uh, my sling, so hopefully I didn't do that. So unfortunately, I forgot my I forgot one of the most important things for this current video. <laughs> um, I forgot my sling. So what we're gonna do is we're going to leave the A7 III in here until I need it, and then we're gonna break it out, and then I'll I'll get the shot of me getting the shot, and then that's how we'll do it. That actually might work pretty good. So. Um, Anyways, without further ado, let's let's get hunting. All right, went ahead and slapped a two to five ND filter on because the uh, the outside world's a little bright right now, <laughs> so uh, that kind of helped with the uh, keeping the depth in my shot, but also not having it so overexposed. So we're um we're gonna check out the first initial composition that comes to my mind, which was that shot of the pond with the snow and then we'll go from there but I'm also keeping my eyes open on if any other composition is kind of just like opens like it, it just kind of comes appears to me so we'll see we'll see if I find anything oh like this right here see that's good I really like that um mm, 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 mm. with the bench and the uh the way the the sidewalk kind of curves but it's also i don't know so so like that's a good composition right there i would get rid of that little flag but but that's what i'm talking about you know and keep in mind i've got a 14 to 24 millimeter lens on the camera so that's 
that's what I get. Um, we'll see. Gosh, man, you know, I just realized that sometimes uh, I can I can honestly not be the best at like getting exposure nailed. So this is gonna make me really sensitive to uh, to making sure my exposure looks good before I click that shutter. So that's the one thing that I'm really hoping for today is that the end of this, whatever shot I get, it's not overexposed. So I'll probably go underexposed. Um, I can edit these these photos too. I don't think I specified that. Um, any of these photos that I take, I can throw into Lightroom and I'm going to edit them and, and make them look, you know, as best as they can. But, um, so yeah, we're probably going to underexpose today, whatever shot I get, and uh, hope for the best. So, what's really nice about filming in conditions like this, in public places, there's literally no one else around here. There was a couple people when I pulled up, finishing up a walk, but right now I think we're the only ones in the park, which is pretty cool. Um, this composition right here is looking really, really nice to me. So, just the pond, a couple trees, there's not a lot of like, I don't know, there's not a lot of clutter in this specific composition. So this might be, this might be a winner for me. There's also some geese right there. You probably can't tell because it's so far away. There you go. Some little geese right there enjoying their day. Um, <clears throat> gosh, I wonder if I need to, I think I'll stop it down one more. I don't know. I don't want it to be too dark. I think that's pretty good right there. But yeah, so that is looking really nice. All right, so like I said, this series is gonna have challenges. Challenge number one being my mic died. <laughs> and uh, I wasn't paying attention to it, but I just noticed as I hit record on this past, I, I already recorded this little clip, but I just noticed that I didn't have any uh, audio coming out. So um, thank goodness I actually had audio for the other clips. But, um, and I'm glad I caught it when I did because that would have been really unfortunate if I didn't catch it right now. <laughs> I have filmed this whole thing without any audio. So you're gonna have to unfortunately deal with some really brutal audio the rest of this video because um, it's just gonna be the onboard, onboard mic on my uh, camera. So it's gonna be pretty horrendous. So I apologize for that. But this, so this is the, this is the first spot. This was the spot I had in my mind. Um, and I can tell you right now, this is not the one. This is not the composition. It'd be different, like I said, if the pond didn't have any ice. But unfortunately, there is some ice. And I mean, it doesn't look terrible, but I just don't like how some of it is melted and some of it is has ice. I don't know why I thought that it wasn't going to have ice because, I mean, it still gets, it still gets really cold at night. <laughs> cold enough for things to freeze. So, um, anyways, that composition, not going to do it. That's not going to be the one. So... We're going to continue on here, um, primarily, so the ice is an issue, but also, um, you can't see it right there, but maybe right here, the highway is right there, and there's so many vehicles that are just in the background, so it just will probably look terrible uh, when I get it into Lightroom and I have all those headlights and stuff, so um, I'm trying to keep this particular shot very neat, not super cluttered with, like, um, a bunch of like man-made objects, if you will, uh, like a single bench, a single, you know, thing here and there, um, wouldn't be bad, but I want this to be fairly, fairly neat, fairly clean. So anyways, that location in my head that I originally had did not work out. So we're going to keep looking here and, uh, see what I can find. Okay. So I really like this bench here. Um, I don't know what I can do with it. There's a little path back here. Ooh, oh, let's try that. Okay, so there's this little path right here that is in between um, the actual sidewalk and this um, this brush here. So I can give I can give now, mind you, I'm working with a 14 to 24. So this is right now at 24 on my camera. This is the most zoomed in I can get. So I wonder if I like got in the brush here and like, cause I wanted maybe to have like a little bit of, nope, nope. See, I can already tell like whenever I frame something up and I look at it, 
I can just immediately tell, no, that's not, that's not going to work. And that, that was not going to work. Maybe if, you know, I could take multiple photos, I could take it there and see later. Because actually, a lot of the times, as a photographer, if you're just going out and shooting on your own, a lot of the photos that you think weren't really the ones um, end up being absolute bangers when you get it on the computer. So who knows? That might have been a really good frame. Unfortunately, I will not know. Not today, at least. Okay, so this is a potential candidate right here. The reason why is I really like... So this you've got this, this obvious man-made thing right here, but it's being overtaken by the natural forces of the snow. I don't know. I think that's really cool. So, and it's surrounded, you know, it's in a field, and there's really not anything in the background. If you go far left enough over here, there's a little outhouse over there. If it wants to focus, there we go. But other than that, you can frame it and keep a lot of, keep the background fairly clean. So I don't know, that's a, that's a potential candidate. You could frame it, you know, right here. I also don't know if I want to go vertical with these or not. Um, we'll see. I'll, I'll play with that when I, when I break out my camera, my photo camera. But this is a potential spot right here. Okay, this shot's kind of cool too. Um... With the, uh, there's a lot of, there, eh, it's a lot of clutter in the background. But if you went low enough, oh, I just did legs, oh, two days ago and it's still sore. Um, if you go low enough, you can block a lot of that out. And that's kind of a cool composition right there. You can maybe even get a little closer. But I don't know, we'll see. That, uh, another potential candidate, that's like behind everything though. It's like my third option, so. Which is funny because like if I have multiple options, I would just go with the first. So, no matter how many candidates I have, I only have one in the end. So, just kind of ironic. So I was thinking about this as a composition right here, just framing up that tree. Um, but it's just not, it's just not wintry enough for me. Oh, excuse me. That's like the one thing that I wanted to do with, uh, with this shot is make sure that you can fully fully get the winter feel from it so there's only one spot that has really done that for me now um, and that was that first one so I think we're gonna go take a look at it because we're coming up on it over here it's over there I'm gonna take a look at that comp real quick and make a decision maybe all right so I just got to the spot and as I was standing here again this is the spot this is going to be the spot, guys. I can, I don't know. Every time I look at it through my viewfinder, it just works for me. So, now comes the time, the important part, on uh, framing it properly enough and actually taking the shot. So, I'm going to warm my hands up real quick because I, again, I forgot my sling, so I've been holding my camera this whole time. Uh, and your cameras get really cold when it's out in, like, cold weather. So, I'm going to warm my hands up and then we're going to get going here, so. All right, as you can see, I got it set up. So, this is the bad boy. It's going to be taking the shot um, right now. If this is going to focus, we are, we've got some work to do as far as settings go. So, um, we're probably going to go, let's see, we'll keep the shutter speed 200, maybe a little bit faster actually to pick up some of the snowflakes. So, we'll go like 500, 600 shutter speed. Um, aperture, want like an F. F8 for landscape, that's pretty solid. Um, and as I'm looking at this, I definitely want to move it around a little bit. So we're at 24 right now. I think I definitely want to come up. Um, come up like that, there we go. I also locked the side shutter button as I was setting it up because I, I realized that that was a really dangerous game to be playing. So, okay, so we're at F8. Um, 1600 ISO looks pretty good actually. Yeah, I think well, I might go 1250. Um, keep the white balance at auto white balance. Okay, so the the one thing that I need to figure out now, do I want to kind of frame it up with my camera here? Um, do I want to have it like this to where you can kind of catch the end? 
of this little uh, drain or do I want to have it more like this to where it kind of flows off to the corner Ooh, I might like if it gets cut off I've got those power lines above I'm not too worried about those because I can just remove those pretty easily um, I don't want too much sky though so maybe like that I don't know let's um, I'm gonna play around with this right here all right so that is the composition that we're working with right now I think that's gonna be it <laughs> I'm so I'm actually like kind of nervous about this I don't know why um, there is so there is a little ice on this pond as well but it's not there's no like snow accumulating on it so it's not as much of an eyesore as the big one um, but yeah no so looking at it um, you got the power lines I made sure I cut out the uh, like the actual power line tower uh, so it's easier to crop out so I'm not worried about that um, you got the little gazebo off to the left which is okay and then also one to the right I like the I like the one on the right um, that's pretty good so yeah I don't know I think this might be it guys we're rocking f8 shutter speed 640 uh, and ISO is 1250 so auto white balance um, I don't know I think I might go ahead and take the shot because I think we're set up because you don't want to I don't want to overthink this too you know, I want to put some time into it um, but I also don't want to overthink it so um, okay live here we go we're gonna take the shot hopefully this turns out the way it's supposed to be let me make sure I'm shooting in raw first because that would be horrendous yep okay Shooting raw. All right. All right. Here we go. We're going to take the shot. The first shot of whatever series this is. The one frame series is probably what I'm calling it. Here we go. And just like that. It's just like that. I am done for today taking photos. That is the last photo I get to take today. Um, don't really know how to feel right now <laughs> I'm being honest because it's just it's done like that it's so quick all right I'm not even gonna look at it um, in the uh, well here no what I'll do is I'll go to the I'll go here and I'll show you guys right in there in the corner one of one the only thing on the SD card there it is all right <sighs> okay so we get to take this home we can take this home throw an edit on it and then uh, get it shipped and on its way here hopefully hopefully it turns out good we'll see man this is really cool this is really exciting so all right I'll see you guys back at home okay we're on the iPhone right now uh, and you can't tell maybe you can tell hold on let me try to zoom uh, yeah there you go you see those guys right there they're making their way over to where I just took the photo and if I would have waited just a little bit more, I might have been able to get them, like, crossing. I don't know if that would have made the photo better or worse, if I'm being honest. They might have cluttered it up too much since it was so wide. Um, but at the same time, a part of me is like, man, I feel like it'd be really cool to have some geese in there. <laughs> so, uh, just another, like, I don't know, I wanted to capture this real quick to showcase, like, this whole series can be very, like timing based I just said like a lot of time so forgive me for that but this can be very timing based so I'm excited to see how I don't know how I grow in my patience as a photographer but also just in like my decision making too so um, anyways we're gonna get home I gotta get some gas before I get home first so we're gonna stop and do that and then uh, we'll be we'll be back we are back um, I replaced the battery in my mic so we should have some better audio <clears throat> still not the best I don't know why I'm not using my main mic right there but this is already set up so we're gonna continue with this photos right here I've got it in the folder I haven't looked at it yet I just drug it over um, and put it in the folder off the SD card so we're going to look at it see how it turned out get a live reaction here of how I think it turned out and hopefully Fingers crossed, it's not a complete bust and the focus was not like all over the place. 
So, um, all right, let's get right into this. I'm going to just display it on screen as I look at it live here. So here we go. Okay. All right. So overall, not bad at all. Um, yeah, that actually turned out not bad at all. So yeah, definitely going to get rid of the power lines in the, um, in the frame there but so i like how it's kind of lined up with that rock or that concrete slab in the bottom there kind of lines it up and it uh it's pretty uniform so overall there's not a lot of clutter either i like the buildings i might crop it a little bit short on the right side and the left side but okay so overall is that like one of my favorite photos I've ever shot. No, um, but is, is it a bad photo? No, I'm actually, I'm actually fairly pleased with that. So I'm going to go ahead and show a time lapse of me editing it, and then I will see you guys afterwards with that finished product. All right, well, here we are, we've made it. So officially, I'll have the actual photo on screen right now. There it is. This is the final edit, the image that we ended up with on the first installment of this series. Um, final thoughts. So um, here it is right here, I've got it on my iPad. I took it into Photoshop to remove those um, power lines and it turned out pretty good. Overall workflow, I kept it really simple for the most part. I, I was pretty meticulous with some things that I wanted to remove in the background. So it was some like um, T posts. Um, There's a few, I think I removed a few leaves that were just like extra orange that just kind of stood out. And so I just went ahead and removed those. But um, other than that, it's pretty, I, I wanted to leave it alone for the most part, other than removing, you know, the, the obvious stuff that needed to come out. Um, but overall, am I happy with this? Yes, I, I am happy with this. Is it like one of my favorite photos in the world? No. Do I think I probably actually could have like gone to another, I'm saying like so many times, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Do I think I could have gone to another location and maybe found a, a, a better composition somewhere? Probably, yes. Um, that being said, out of all the compositions that I looked at today, I do feel confident in my decision with this one. Um, I think that this one is the best one that displayed kind of the winter landscape that I was going for. Um, I like to bring out the, the orange colors in a lot of the photos that I edit, uh, but primarily, especially when there is snow, I like to kind of make the orange a little bit more on the red side in my photos. So that's kind of what I did with this, with this edit. But yeah, that's the first photo in this series. Um, what I'm going to do when I get the photo delivered or printed and I have it you know, physically, I physically have it. I'm going to wipe the photo off of my hard drive and SD card. So digitally, it's nowhere to be found, but I will have the, the physical copy. That's my wife. Hello. Hello, oh, hold on. There we go, I'm filming a video right now. Oh, I can let you know. Okay, you're on camera, you wanna say hi? Oh, I'm on camera? Yeah, you wanna say hi? Yeah, hello. <laughs> There's no one there. It's just the camera, but it'll be in the video. <laughs> well, at first I was confused when you said I was on camera. I thought you meant FaceTime. And so I was, I took my phone out from between my legs because I wasn't sure if I FaceTimed you and that the, and the, the camera was seeing my crotch. Oh, no, <laughs> no, just no. your voice is on camera, not physically. Oh. 
Well, hello. <laughs> okay, well, I will let you go. I'll call you once I'm done recording here. Okay. All right, love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. That's my wife. Anyways, yeah, so when I have the physical copy of this, that is going to be the only thing that remains. I, I'm going to wipe the digital copies, and it's only going to be those physical um, small, like three and a half by five or three by five photos. So, so I'm really excited for this. I'm excited for looking back once I have like a full year's worth of doing this, um, putting it into some kind of photo album, uh, maybe even making a book. I don't know. Um, like a, like a physical book, nothing that I could sell because I'm not going to have the digital copies. I don't know. We'll see. But hopefully this was as fun and as entertaining to watch as it was for me to create it. So thank you guys for watching. Because on top of doing it for me, I am also doing it for you guys or whoever wants to watch it. So, But that is it. The next episode, so not necessarily the next video, but the next episode in this series, I will have the physical copy and I'll start that episode off showing you guys how the, the physical um, photo turned out. I feel like this is going to be a long video, so if you stuck around for the whole thing, thank you so much. I really appreciate those of you who stick around and give me your full attention span. Look at this. This is pathetic. Ah. Oh, here he is. Big man on campus. Huh? Yeah. You want to say anything to the, the camera? Yeah, there's a light right there. He, he don't got nothing to say. He's wondering why I'm holding him like this. All right, I'm going to put him down. Anyways, that is it from me, guys. I will catch you all in the next video.